Hideo Kojima. You crazy bastard. <laughs> I, I don't even know really where to begin with this. I mean, like, Death Stranding comes out in, like, a day. Uh, the reviews came out for it. It's all over the shop, kind of. Some people love it. Some people don't love it. I mean, it's a weird one. It's a really, really weird one. Before we get to Death Stranding, we're going to talk about Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear 1 and 2. It's complicated story-wise, um, as I found out. So I went through, played through 1, 2, and 3. Didn't quite have enough time to go through and play 4 and 5, being gigantic and having, like, the longest cutscene in a video game ever. Thanks. Makes it really doable in a short amount of time. But yeah, so I played through the first three. Um, I played through them in order, one, two, three. Um, first one really shocks you with how much it was able to do back on, like, the PS1. And, like, I know everyone has heard that a bunch when people talk about Metal Gear, but, like, I was not expecting it at all. Like, people tracking your, like, footprints and stuff and, like, hearing you in puddles and, like, it's just... Crazy. I was not expect like oh I was expecting that sort of crazy crap from the brain of Kojima, but like that's ridiculous on the PS1. Like I was playing Croc and Spyro. That's ridiculous. And man, like the cast of characters in these games are hilarious. Like the villains that pop up and the henchmen and stuff is whole like completely stupid and insane. Um, the fact that there's like these snipers who are amazing one of which can die if you just leave the game for like a week and come back that's ridiculous anyway i'm jumping ahead a little bit um but yeah so metal gear one i quite liked it i found it super difficult personally um with my 2019 controlled brain um i didn't really know how to make things work smoothly i got caught and alerted guards so many times man yeah that first one was like really cool it just had like a cool story to it and everything um i quite enjoyed it got a bit complicated at times i kept forgetting that you can use your codec to call up and get hints as to what you're supposed to be doing that would have been helpful if i'd remembered that and man yeah like leading up to that final boss fight against liquid oh so cool Speaking of the snakes, um, I was finding things quite complicated in the story there. Um, I actually went through and watched um, this video, um, which actually explains the whole storyline in like story order. And good lord. What? <laughs> just what? Like, th this is ridiculous. It's just so, like, everything, like, everything relates back to, like, the story in, like, M Metal Gear 1 and 2. Not Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. Metal Gear 1 and 2. Like, that's crazy. Like, uh, huh? Like, Big Boss and... Liquid Snake and Solid Snake and Naked Snake and Old Snake and Big Boss's clone and but Solid and Liquid are actually the clone twin of Big Boss and, huh? Also shout out to Fat Man you keep roller skating my man you out there you getting it you're doing a great job out there if you're a big fan of Metal Gear and everything like that and video games in general really um and you haven't seen this video, uh, the most profound moment in gaming history, um, part one and two. Um, man, Metal Gear Solid 2's ending explained in this sense. So good. Oh my god, I love it. Um, that's actually one of the things that got me interested into Metal Gear in the first place, because Dan showed me it, and I was like, that's amazing. Um, how could they even think of that? Like, back in, like, early 2000s, they're talking about fake news and stuff. It's like, what? So that actually got me really interested in wanting to play these games before his new one came out. 
even though it's not Metal Gear, but it's from the same brain, so I wanted to see what came first. Yeah, and then I went on, on to 3, which was freaking excellent. It was so good. Oh, man. Um, just such a, a great story, that whole, like, jungle setting and everything. Like, playing as the snake who becomes big boss at the end, like, damn, it's so cool. It's so convoluted and weird and silly and just absolutely bonkers. Yeah, so then I didn't have time for four and five, because those are like huge. But I watched the, the recap thing, the story, and um, man, that's something. <laughs> I like that um, uh, Psycho Mantis basically shows up again, and because it's on a PS3, he can't read your memories because there's no memory card. That's a funny joke. It's a good, good joke, Kojima, good joke. Very funny, A plus. Great work. But yeah, and like, Ocelot is got the consciousness of liquid, but he's also just kind of faking it, but not, but kind of is, but not. And then you have a fight on a Metal Gear with Old Man Ocelot, and it is quite poetic in a sense. It's meant to be, but like, it's a bit ridiculous, if you know what I mean. But yeah, and uh, five wasn't even finished, so I saw the bit that was there, um, and there's like hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of what would have been gameplay. Um, that story-wise broke down to like, not a whole lot. So, thanks to that video, I didn't have to not waste my time. Like, I heard it was an amazing game. Uh, got like great reviews and stuff and was really cool but like in the overall Metal Gear sense it didn't seem that important to me as like a new person looking at it but that might have just been me but yeah and now we have Death Stranding six point something from IGN and like 10 out of 10 from other places and like it this looks really varied um this is really gonna be an interesting game I think I do want to sink my teeth into it because from everything I've heard like obviously without any spoilers or anything from people saying like that legally can't share spoilers like yeah people are saying like it's got some really interesting elements like walking no it's not walking the um the best description of it that I heard was it's actually like it's more like hiking it's not walking it's hiking there's a difference between walking and hiking hiking's Slightly more interesting. Slightly. But yeah, um, Norman Reedus' butt, uh, advertising for his AMC show, um, uh, uh, the baby, the cast, obviously, is like, uh, uh, man, this game looks so weird. I'm like, so on board for it. Like, even not having done all the weird stuff of Kojima's older games, it just looks like it's gonna be really, really weird and out there and cool, and I like that. I like when things have the guts to make really weird decisions and make an entire game mechanic about how in video games you use up your inventory entirely and fill it up so much that you're literally off balance. That's hilarious. It's such a dumb commentary. That was my quick little nostalgia for The Road to Death Stranding, Metal Gear and all that jazz from Kojima. Uh, this video was gonna be like, like I was gonna, like I was working on heaps of stuff for it and I got like I got like a quarter of the way through it, a third of the way through it and I was just like this isn't the thing that I wanted to make out of this. Um, I was trying to make videos that basically break down to these crazy highly produced in-depth videos that like go through all of the history and everything and I was just like one I don't have the time for that. Two it doesn't quite fit the style of the channel of Hack the Dino and the fun, laid-back, silly vibe that we try to keep. Well, we still try to keep some things professional sometimes, maybe a little bit. Not that much. No, not really. We're not that professional. Hmm. But yeah, since Death Stranding's out in like a day from when this video goes out, um, are you are you are you gonna get it? Are you gonna get Death Stranding? Are you gonna? connect the USA and do the strands and avoid the strands and make the strands and 
connect with people and get likes. Speaking of likes, like this video if you liked it. <laughs> Damn it, Kojima. But yeah, and then in terms of uh, new nostalgias on the way, um, there's not a whole lot coming out. So, well, there's lots coming out, but like not, not stuff that we're doing nostalgias for at least. Um, it'll be interesting to see. There's, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff next year. I do have some stuff planned, so you guys will hear about that very soon. Um, maybe actually managing to stream something, unlike the Metal Gear games, because I got really busy, really unexpectedly, and I am sorry for that. But um, yeah, might actually be streaming some stuff soon, which is exciting. I uh, also fixed my PC and like upgraded it and stuff, so it's nice now. Um, I just did my eyebrows way too much then. Ah. But yeah, I'll leave you with that, and, uh... Kojima, you're a weird dude, but yeah, I, 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 res I respect your, your mind and your crazy visions. You're a weird one.